today let's look at another one of my 2018 Peterbilt 389s. Uh, this one is the new legendary gray color. It's a it's a real pretty dark gray with a super nice kind of a kind of a silver and a gray tone on the uh, flake. Real pretty color. Whenever the clouds go away or, or the sun sets, it looks like a, just a real dark gray, like a gunmetal gray. Pretty fantastic color. Look, all the chrome and the shine looks real good with it. This truck's a 290 inch wheelbase, powered by a 565 X15 Cummins, 18 speed transmission. That Cummins has 2,050 foot pounds of torque. Uh, and when you have that that extra torque rating you get the bigger transmission bigger clutch bigger drive line and actually a different rear end <clears throat> this truck's sitting on low pro 22 fives with the 336 rear ends i apologize with 325 rear ends the uh a lot of my trucks have low pro 24s and you'll see the 336s on them the low pro 22s with the 325s turn the exact same rpm at the exact same mile per hour just uh, not everyone wants or needs different 22s or 24s uh, if a guy's got a fleet of trucks that are all on 22s then obviously he's going to want to buy a truck with 22s level one alcoa polished aluminum wheels low air leaf suspension it's got a 36 inch air slide with the uh, Holland FW35 fifth wheel. Dual seven ways. Uh, of course, there's all your air and electric with the chrome stand. Most everybody does the gold ear diet and like to do the chrome. Hodgeville fenders, 30 inch deep drop definitely the nicest fender we can get from the factory uh, this truck is a 290 inch wheelbase and you'll see in there up towards the front it's gonna have a it's gonna have an insert running from back here it's a sleeper towards the front polished tanks polished straps Locking caps. This is a 120 gallon tank on this side, 150 on the other. Six lights in the back of the sleeper. There's the antenna out there. I'm uh, still putting them on the back, keeping them off the mirrors. Phoenix LED light kit. Cab sleeper, back of the front fenders, front and back of the air cleaners. Uh, went with the uh, smoke lights They've been very popular. They look great with this color All the uh, Weather sealed tight connectors on everything on the lights No tape no stripped wires uh, Everything's got a nice professional seal on it so you can uh, Plan on being pretty problem-free with that polished def tank cover Chrome elbows on the exhaust. Seven inch curved tip stand pipes. Polished battery box with four batteries. It's uh, not that much of an upgrade dollar wise to put, put that fourth battery in. Um, if you're gonna put an inverter in it or, uh, uh, it or there's a million reasons to have four batteries but that's just one of them. Big battery disconnect, polished air tank, 15 inch premium air cleaners, the nicest air cleaner you can get. Uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know I talk about there's a lot of dealers that do the cheaper 15 inch air cleaner and they look very similar, um, but they are not the same. Polished stainless heated mirrors with uh, uh, even the spots are heated You can see there I did a uh, 12 inch blind mount drop visor put two additional roof lights on it 
clear lenses in all the roof lights. This truck does have disc brakes on all three axles. 18 inch Texas style bumper, polished surround with the polished headlights. Polished step box on this side, you know, covering up the, the DPF filter. With the, with the new arrangement of this Cummins X15, the expected service interval for that filter is between four and 600,000. So if we just chop that in the middle at five, uh, only cleaning that filter twice every million miles, that's a uh, very livable figure. Uh, much better than it, than it has been or was in the past for sure. These step boxes here are locking. Black leather Atlas seats with the gray interior, gray carpet. We'll uh, take a little, a little better look at that here in a second. Of course, on this X15, this, this turbo's new. Uh, there's no doser on the rear. The only doser is... on the filter and if you've uh, if you're familiar with the old filter you can see how much smaller that filter is a lot of other changes other than what I just mentioned that's just a few uh, the air compressor is bigger for one a uh, handful of other things heated fuel filter all the fuel lines are arctic wrapped um, for if you're ever running up north that's a nice nice little bonus to have um, that always leads me into the cabin sleeper up at the extra insulation in them does a great job of keeping the heat in in the summer but or in the winter but with summer coming the fact that it keeps the cab cooler uh, is really where the where the value is in that Remote lube. Get a shot of the disc brakes. If you want to do fog lights, it's already pre wired to switch on the dash. Uh, weather tight sealed connectors, just like on the uh, Phoenix light kit. Try and plan ahead as much when we order these trucks as we can. Sticker weight on this truck, 18,896. That's what the uh, factory says it weighs. And they give a 2%, <clears throat> excuse me, 2% plus or minus on that. Keyless entry, which is part of the platinum interior. Rosewood dash, rosewood inserts in the door. Leather steering wheel, the Sears Atlas seats, driver's seat has dual armrest, chrome stick on top of this 18 speed transmission, another one of those little, little things that we do that most don't, all bright bezel gauges. 
factory CB in, in the factory surround. Premium sound on the uh, on the stereo. You can always tell if the truck, <clears throat> excuse me, has premium sound with, because you'll see the tweeter. This truck's a uh, single bunk, two closets, all the overhead cabinets. Uh, that's all the storage you can put in it. They, they don't offer anything else. Nice refrigerator. Windows on both sides. Business center in this closet with all the uh, pull out storage. More importantly, the desk. And that's a great place to put your laptop or your tablet. Sit on the edge of the bed and get caught up on paperwork or bills or what have you. My name's Steve Carboni. If you've got any questions about this truck or any of my other trucks, you can text me or call me anytime, 918-808-5638. Uh, if you need to shoot me an email, send it to info at peterbuiltsteve.com. If you like these videos, subscribe to this channel. Um, you can also catch up with me on Facebook and on <clears throat> excuse me and on uh, instagram peterbilt steve catch up with me there we've got somewhere around twenty-five thousand followers i think at this point a little over three million video views so appreciate all that but i've got financing i take trades uh if you've got questions about options i know i showcase the owner operator trucks a lot but i do a lot of oil field day cab stuff um a variety of other trucks so um, if, you, if you need a nice truck that's well optioned give me a shout I'd love a chance at earning your business so 918-808-5638 appreciate you guys see you on the next video